okay after reading uh, whatever was written in the tutorial like uh, for about a few seconds or so i think i've uh, forgotten what to do basically i've downloaded everything that we might need uh, that is a guide for change of bread that i've included uh, then we need open recovery sbf flash this is, this is for flashing uh, sbfs onto your phone and uh, of course the cm7 update and vulnerable recovery patch uh, now what we need to do is uh, make this SPF flasher executable by chmod and then I have to execute it and let it know where uh, uh, which SPF I want to uh, install like or flash on the phone and that would be this a vulnerable recovery SPF so I've written the commands uh, so uh, I'll just write the commands in the uh, I'll let you know how it goes I'm executing chmod plus x sbf flash to make it executable. Now it is executable. Now all I need to do is execute it by using dot forward slash sbf flash space and the path of the file that I'll enter shortly. Uh, so this is sbf flash, a vulnerable recovery only, rma ld uh, 90 underscore 70. 8.spf uh, before we start uh, any of these modding uh, things you should better have installed a backup app um, any backup app will do uh, you just have to basically backup every single thing that you have this is uh, the app that I've been using it's called backup master it backs up everything that I have uh, on to the SD card which later on I've transferred in the system so in case if something goes wrong we have uh, all the data that we might need there is a possibility of breaking the phone as well but that is very remote if we stick to the guides and uh, basically not do anything stupid like uh, maybe use it on an unstable operating system uh, because that can go horribly wrong also make sure uh, that your laptop is fully charged if you're using it from a laptop and other normal basic things that one might uh, ignore as we tend to ignore obvious things so this is what I've uh, prepared it's a small note for uh, the uh, for the link of the guide and uh, you also have to note down what baseband you're on and the build of your uh, phone this will come in handy in case if we somewhat uh, break it or somewhat not get it right then later on also the baseband will be required after uh, all the flashing is done we need to specify what baseband the phone will be using so uh, that I'll uh, uh, give more explanation about that as and when we actually do it so right now I'm starting the flashing process wish me luck waiting for phone mm, still waiting for phone was I supposed to do something to make the phone active uh, doesn't say anything about keeping the phone switched off or anything so Still waiting for phone. Well, one thing is for sure, it loaded up the SBF file correctly. So, the SBF file seems to be proper. Mm. And clearly, I do not know how to patch SBF, so I'll read a tutorial upon them first and then I'll get back to this step. Currently, quitting this process. 